Yeah, that's right, Shannon. This morning here at the Allegheny Courthouse, Judge Jeffrey Manning ruled that Detective Michael Reddy was not guilty. The judge said that the prosecution failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the detective planned to keep that money that he took for the long haul. In this July 2014 surveillance video from a Northside 7-Eleven, Pittsburgh Police Detective Michael Reddy is seen taking a bank envelope filled with $220. When the rightful owner, Robert Simpson, returned moments later, the clerk showed him the video and Detective Reddy was later charged with theft of lost property. However, 13 months later, Judge Jeffrey Manning found Reddy not guilty. The judge heard the full testimony of everything and, and saw it just as that. You know, some, some mistakes that I have made along the way, but in no way um, was I guilty of those allegations. Reddy testified that despite not telling his partner or anyone else about the money for hours, he did plan to give it to supervisors at the end of his shift. Charges were initially dropped last year by a city magistrate who acknowledged he might have ordered a private citizen to stand trial. But the district attorney refiled those charges, eventually sending the case to a non-jury trial, leaving the ruling in the hands of the judge. He was going to turn it in at the end of his shift. I don't think that's true. I think he intentionally took it. That mirrors Simpson's line of thinking as well, who as seen in this clip from last year, has been vocal against the justice system since the incident. You've seen the video. Moments after the verdict, customers we spoke with at the 7-Eleven largely agreed with Simpson. For those three or four hours, he looks real, real guilty. Now, Detective Michael Reddy, he remains on paid administrative leave right now, but did say today that he fully intends to rejoin the force in his prior role as a detective. So far, I'm told a hearing to determine his status has not yet been scheduled. Reporting live downtown tonight, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.